step seven, say hooray, because you can't believe that this cube belongs to me. <laughs> How what's guys, cubing coded. Wait. Hey guys, Tingman here. And yes, I am wearing merch by Cubing Encoded. There is a reason though, which I promise you'll find out later in this video, which is going to have more twists than a pretzel. Keep watching at your own peril. So a few weeks ago, CubeSolve Hero and I challenged each other to a race to 50,000 subscribers, and I reached the finish line first, making me the loser. Because in a crazy reversal, winning came with a penalty. You had to spend $100 of your own money at the other person's sponsor store using their discount code. Yup. I must say though, your comments were pretty humorous. I get why people were feeling nervous. After all, I am sponsored by Daily Puzzles, a wonderful cubing store in Australia. So shopping at a so-called rival store does look like I'm betraying them, right? Like, what would they think? But rules are rules and the day finally came. Well, I lost. So it's time for me to spend $100 at Speed Cube Shop. All right, here we are, Monster Go, yes. So much to choose from, but I actually know exactly what I'm gonna get. It's right here in the Ucuba series. Not too long ago, Speed Cube Shop made custom cubes for five of their main YouTubers. These were cubes of their choice set up to their exact specifications. And probably my favorite thing about it is that $5 from the purchase of each cube goes to the creator. And so my first purchase is really a no-brainer. I am going to get Cube Solve Heroes Creator Cube. Ooh, there's only three left in stock. You are mine, my friend. Of course, that only adds up to about $58. Well, not only, it's quite a lot for a cube, but I do have over $40 to spend. So I'm gonna get another creator cube. Here's the question, which one do I get? The thing is, I know a few of these guys and I would love to support them all, but I do have something specific in mind that I wanna do with these cubes. And because of that, I'm gonna get Speed Cube Reviews Cube, the Gun 354 Magnetic Version 2. And this brings our grand total to $150.90. I'm going over how much I'm meant to spend, CubeSolve Hero. Doing it for you. And of course, as promised, I'm gonna use your discount code. What is it again? Hero? Yes, $5 off. $18 shipping, sure thing. Done. I just spent $128 at Speed Cube Shop. Can't wait till it gets here. Tingman fam, look what has arrived. This is why you pay for express shipping. This guy literally had to cross the Pacific Ocean, but here it is. Two Creator Cubes by Cube Self Hero and Speed Cube Review. So what now? Well, I could just open them, tell you my thoughts and call it a day. Or I could use them in a master ploy to mess with other people's minds and make them question everything they know. Okay, slight exaggeration, but I am going with option two. This is Hannah, and this is Liam. They're both young Australian speed cubers who have helped me out at several cubing competitions I've organized and are just great people in general. Oh, and before you accuse us of breaking coronavirus restrictions, maybe just Google, is it possible that there are more countries in the entire world other than the one I'm in, and maybe they might have different rules? Okay, sorry, slightly passive aggressive there. Do you know what the best thing is about this, Hannah? What? You don't even know what you're gonna do. No. <laughs> You are here, Liam, because you are going to provide us an unbiased review. An unbiased review? Oh, Cube Solve Heroes. Oh. Create a cube. Well, Brendan, good day. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to Australia, mate. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> so technically, I wasn't lying to them. I did actually want them to review these cubes and give us their thoughts. But I left out one very important detail. At the end, I was going to give them these cubes. But let's watch the review first because it was pretty entertaining. Step one, tell us what the cube is and comment on the box. Ah, uh, it's gone. because It is a bit off-putting, all of the Chinese characters. Is. Yeah, maybe I'm not off-putting if you actually spoke Chinese, but you could read Chinese. Well, I doubt, Brendan, if you're watching this, I doubt you can speak Chinese, but if you can, like, I'd be really, I'd be shocked. Yeah. Keep yourself here, prove him wrong. Speak Chinese in your next video. <laughs> The random Australian who thinks you can't speak Chinese. There is another box inside the box. <laughs> Which has instructions. We love instructions. Oh, and a little pouch. 
Step two, open the box and quickly take us through what's inside. Quickly, I like that adverb. The Vogue 3 Elite is a truly a game changer with 96. Oh yeah, this is the really one with like tons of magnets, isn't it? Oh, okay. So we've got the actual case. So what's unique about the Vogue 3 Elite yeah. is that you change the magnets by swapping the center cap. The center cap. I've never gotten a Vogue before, so. Oh, it's very slimy. It's definitely different to mine because I have a non-magnetic cube. Get a magnetic cube. I appreciate the fact, and it's similar with their with the Volk 5, quite sturdy as a cube. The Volk series is actually so consistent. They all have yeah. that really characteristic feel to them. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good. But then this happened. I don't really like it that much, honestly. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> I go short, and this is like his favorite setup of a cube. So. That is really stiff. I feel like it needs to be way looser. And I f the loop's good, but... The magnets are a little bit strong, but that's, again, that's like a personal preference thing. I feel like it's bumping too much. Yeah, it doesn't corner cut that great. Yeah, you have to be much more accurate with your salt. Step five, do some solves. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Yeah, talk about a failed plan. I spent over a hundred dollars on these cubes, hoping it'd be just what these guys wanted. And instead, I was probably going to end up disappointing them. There was no way I could have known, I guess. But at this moment, all I could think about was desperately trying to redeem the situation. I'm getting around 21 seconds, which is like two seconds faster than my average, so. I got a 19.32, which is what I usually get. But then you know what? They kept going, and suddenly, they started to like the cubes. He even loved them. 20. So that's a 17. That was, that was an improvement. 19 seconds. <laughs> Doing... Maybe I should get a magnetic cube. <laughs> okay, don't judge cubes by first experiences. Um, I've definitely changed my thoughts. I honestly would replace it with my main because mine's not magnetic and it does feel a lot nicer. Oh, I cannot tell you how relieved I was that Hannah had changed her mind about the cube or what was about to happen was gonna get really awkward. But this is actually the perfect place for me to answer some questions that might be on your mind. Ting Man, what are you doing supporting Speed Cube Shop? Aren't they the rivals of Daily Puzzles? And why are you promoting Cube Self Hero? Isn't he your competitor? And why the heck are you wearing Cubing Encoded's merch? Have you forgotten your loyalties? Well, no, I haven't. I'm loyal to my friends. You see, Daily Puzzles and Speed Cube Shop, yeah, they're competitors, maybe, as businesses. But the people who run them, Billy and Cameron, they're some of the best people I know. Of course I want to see them succeed. As for my other YouTube rivals, CubeSoft Heroes, BQ Review, Cube Encoded, well, do you mean Brendan and Sean and Kevin? They're my friends, and again, some of the kindest people I know. They make videos that serve and sustain the cubing community, and like, Cube Encoded's merch, for example, he's donating 100% of the profits to a charity called No Kid Hungry. How cool is that? In fact, inspired by him, Cube Self Hero decided to match all profits he's making from sales of his Creator Cube and donate $10 to charity as well for everyone sold. I told you they're great guys. I get that people's first impressions are that we're all rivals coming from competing sponsors, but Hannah just needed to break in the cube a bit and suddenly she realized, hey, it's different from what I initially thought. At the end of the day, we're all just people. Um, step seven, say hooray, because you can't believe that this cube belongs to me. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's yours. What? <laughs> because you can't believe that this cube now belongs to you. Oh, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you just knew that I've always needed a new mate. <laughs> Oh wow, thanks. It's yours. <laughs> yeah. The irony isn't lost on me that while I'm talking about how I'm actually friends with supposed enemies, there have been mass protests happening in America and across the world, sparked by issues of systemic racism and police brutality. I'm a man of Chinese descent living in Australia, so what's my opinion worth? But I'm about to tell you one of my favorite lines ever written because it comes from the US Declaration of Independence. It says, We hold these truths to be self-evident, 
that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You are saying your founding fathers took inspiration from what the Bible said about God making all people equal, all worthy of life and love and protection. I'm praying, the world's praying, that you'll remember this now too. There might be rivalry between groups, maybe even competition, but you aren't enemies. Get to know the people on the other side because you too might find some of the best people you'll ever meet. If everyone is willing to pass the love on, the world will be a much better place. Our hobbies might bring us together, but what all unites us is the fact that we're all human and that most of us live on Earth. I, I just had to add that. Thank you also for, the wow, I can't believe I just got a cube. Thank you so much to Hannah and Liam for being such good sports. To be honest, I'm not even sure what this video is supposed to be about anymore. I think I started by talking about a competition or something, but I did enjoy the journey you took me on, and I hope you did too. He's spoken for so long, my GoPro has died. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to Kill Yourself Hero. Oh, and shop, use code TINGMAN at Daily Puzzles. Yeah. Aww, I did not ask him to say that.